hello guys welcome to my channel knowledge unlimited and um, from today i'm going to start a new playlist on static timing analysis and uh, this is going to be the first tutorial in the playlist and this playlist mainly helpful for the people who are appearing for their placements or any interviews etc and uh, for the freshers also or the beginners who are going to or interested to learn about the static timing analysis also this playlist will be very much helpful it will uh, give from the beginning or from the scratch to the detailed understanding of the uh, timing analysis that uh, one will be doing in the digital circuit or the logical circuit and the uh, first tutorial will be going as follows where i'm i will try to cover uh, why timing analysis is important which is a very basic question that one should one should know before uh, going into the static timing analysis and what is meant by static timing analysis uh, is one thing we are going to cover and then what is setup time two types of analysis will be that setup time analysis and hold time analysis so uh, firstly we'll start about setup time we will cover various things that are present in the setup time concept and then we will uh, take all the same things again in the hold time and we will do the analysis then we'll talk about why setup time is important and uh, how setup time can be visualized this also we'll see and then uh, any one of the example question we will take and we will uh, talk in detail about the timing analysis of that circuit and then uh, what is the mathematical equation of it we'll see and then we will also do the skew analysis like positive skew ne negative skew analysis of the circuit we'll do and then we'll solve some more examples uh, to get more detailed understanding of it and then we'll solve some interview questions with their solutions how how they can be solved in multiple ways or how they can be visualized or understood and then we will also see about the negative setup time analysis so without wasting time let's uh, get into the video so the first question is uh, why timing analysis is important so this is very basic thing that one should know in any digital circuit that one going to design or in any SOC or whatever it is if it is it is all together started with one specification like an operating frequency it should operate at certain frequency which is nothing but the inverse of a time period which means if the circuit that you designed won't meet the frequency requirement of the user who ordered or who asked you to design the chip then it's of no use so this timing analysis is very important to see if the design that you have done for a certain frequency will work at that frequency or not so all this will be uh, understood before giving to the end user by this timing analysis and this timing analysis will be done at multiple stages in the design entire design cycle like in the back end if you say at every step of the back end process they will do this timing analysis so this understanding is enough for now but we'll go into detail in the upcoming uh, tutorials that we are going to do on on this playlist okay so that is the reason why timing analysis is very important and then uh, people will often talk, talk like static timing analysis static timing analysis so it is very essential to understand what is static timing analysis why not it's called as a simulate uh, i mean a dynamic timing analysis and all so here the major difference is before going into this static timing analysis thing you should understand why it is important to do the static timing analysis okay so the primary thing is uh, let's take a simple circuit where there are two flops let's say there are two flip flops and there is some combo logic here combo logic one and this is the input and this is the output one okay and then the clock is coming like this and there can be some other combo logic in this clock part as well and also let's take one more combo logic and this is one more output coming okay so in this simple circuit let's analyze what are all the different timing paths that are present okay so if you see here from the input here also you can assume some combo logic or not needed so from the input which you are giving primarily to the logic circuit to the input of the register is called as input to register path timing path okay these are all the timing paths okay and then from the input of register to the input of register it's like from one register to one register it's not like input of register from the output of register to the input of other register so when the clock comes only it will happen right so let's say this path is called as register to register path okay and from the register output to the final output here let's say some more combo logic is there so this path is called as register to output path and from the input to the output this path okay 
this is called as input to output path so these are the four timing paths that are possible in a logic circuit so here the logic breakpoint is a flip flop okay so whenever let's say you have a large chunk of delay that is caused by some logic you will all you will do is you will insert a flop so that from here the next cycle onwards the delay you will be calculating like at that edge onwards you will calculating the delay of the other circuit that is present to it it's what called as pipelining we often called as let's say there is a big logic you will break that into half and you will insert a flop here so and this is also not as straightforward as it is looking but it's a kind of a simple uh, example uh, to make you understand that how flop is essential in dealing the timing analysis things so why i'm explaining this is let's say you're doing a dynamic timing analysis then what you need to do is you need to give all the input combinations that are possible for the inputs let's say you have taken four inputs then uh, there can be a multiple combination of inputs that you can give to analysis uh, it's like what we do in the simulation right we will try all the possible combinations of inputs and then we will see the output after what time it is being obtained at the output all that analysis will be too much difficult this is called a simulation based timing analysis okay which is a dynamic timing analysis where the input will be dynamically changing instead the advantage of static timing analysis is you will do the timing analysis of the circuit with the different timing paths that are possible okay these are the four different timing paths that are possible so you will know the delay of those timing path and then with that delay of the timing path you can analyze whether the circuit that you designed will operate at the frequency that you are thinking or not so um, the delays will be like t clock to q delay t combo delay all these delays which you often heard you might heard till now so all these are will fall into either one of the category that we have discussed okay so that is the that is meant by static timing analysis and uh, that is why it is important to do static timing analysis for a circuit and to understand how it is being done okay so with that we can say we covered pretty much details about this uh, what is static timing analysis now if you come to the next question uh, these two questions if you see what is setup time and why setup time is important so if you uh, i have attached a snippet uh, from the browser so if you simply search for setup time this is the definition that you will see setup time is the required time duration that the input data must be stable before the triggering edge of the clock so this is one definition i'm just giving for understanding so if you search here also more or less same if you search here also it's more or less same so uh, if you put the definition aside how to Uh, i mean uh, this is if someone says setup time you should say like this but what does this definition actually mean means let's say you have a clock cycle here one clock cycle i'm taking and this is the period of that clock cycle okay t clock and some random input of data is coming okay some data is coming some data is coming okay for the clock edge if you see the clock edge at this clock edge or at this clock edge how much time ahead of this clock edge the data should become stable let's say here it is fluctuating 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 but here it should become stable so certain amount of time before t delta before certain amount of time before obtaining the clock edge the data should become stable so this time before which the data should become stable is called a setup time the setup time but here the important question comes in a circuit how are you determining that this uh, sorry how are you determining that this t delta is the setup time this is the setup time how are you determining so other way to put this question is how to how to visualize or how setup time can be visualized okay so one need to understand that you will say that uh, some 2 nanoseconds is the setup time of it or like that you will say some time period uh, for some time for the setup time but how this time is coming into picture that's it, that is very important um, uh, thing that one should understand okay to understand this we need to dive deep into internal structure of the flop that is why a transmission gates will have one diagram right so to understand this we need to go into internal 
of the flip flop let's say this is the flip flop that we are thinking we need to go inside the flip flop and see to visualize how this setup time is coming into picture so the definition of setup time is pretty much clear that before the clock edge how much time ahead the data should come or data should become stable so that you will capture the output correctly for the corresponding input so this minimum amount of time ahead it should come is called as a setup time and why it is important means let's say data comes after the setup time window it will go into meta stable state so uh, why setup time is important is very much appropriate if it be explained after visualizing the setup time so till uh, it's like till here we covered so what is setup time we covered what is meant by static timing analysis we covered and why timing analysis important is also we covered so let's understand how it can be visualized in the next tutorial and then we will talk about why that is important for a logic circuit so uh, and slowly we will cover the rest of the things that we have discussed here also hope you guys learn something new in this video and stay tuned for the next videos that are coming in this playlist thank you once again see you soon in the next video